All right, so what are some of the fun things and useful things that we can do with strings in Python? Well, there's a few concepts that I want to talk about here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up a Python interpreter. You can do this in PyCharm by going to View, uh, Tool, Windows, and then selecting Python Console. Or you can open up Terminal and type Python 3 and hit Enter. Uh, however you enter this, uh, if you want to follow along, that's probably helpful because I find if you're told how to do something, it, you know, you kind of know how to do it. But if you actually do it yourself, you have a better handle on what happens and uh, you're more likely to remember how it works. So from here on out, uh, basically what I want you guys to do is to follow along uh, with your code and do everything that I do. So... Uh, with that being said, one of the first things that we're going to do is, uh, in a previous video, uh, when we were talking about numbers, I showed you how to convert strings into numbers if the only thing in that string were numbers. So this is going to be kind of the opposite. Let's say you have uh, a few values. Um, let's say you have the number 6, right? And you want to print out, uh, this costs $6. You can't just... Uh, uh, well, actually, first we're going to talk about concatenating because you can't do that in Python. I'm going to show you how. But first, let's learn how to concatenate a string, which means how to glue uh, multiple strings together. So we saw this actually in the numbers video as well when we tried to add numbers uh, that had been identified as the string or yeah, the string type. Uh, and what it did was concatenate the numbers and it made five and six. Uh, when you add them together, it made it uh, equal 56. And so that's you're gluing strings together. So I'm going to say hello, and then pop out of that string, put a plus sign. And then in this uh, string, I'm going to type Nick. Now what's going to happen is it's going to print out hello Nick because I'm concatenating these two strings. You can also do this uh, with uh, however many instances of strings you want. So if I really wanted to get uh, a little bit convoluted, I could do this. And this would print out hello uh, using five strings all concatenated together. Now what happens if I want to say this costs six bucks? Well, because part of this line is an integer, it's going to try and use those plus symbols to perform a mathematical operation rather than uh, printing out a string. Actually, it's the opposite. It's, it can't convert the integer to a string. So it knows that we want to concatenate some strings together, but it's like, well, hey, hold up. This is not a string. I don't know what to do with this. So what we have to do is uh, use the string function, uh, which is similar to the int function. So how we do that is uh, this costs six dollars and what this is going to do is it's going to convert the number six to a string so that it can be used now you can also perform uh, mathematical operations within the string parameter i believe so let's test this out this costs uh, let's go um, six uh, plus five dollars hit enter. Uh, yeah, so it can perform mathematical operations uh, within that parameter. It's going to convert the sum or the result of whatever mathematical operation you're performing on it. It's going to convert that to a string and then use that string to be concatenated with the, the other strings that you're uh, working with. So that's how to use the string function. And uh, maybe this doesn't seem like it's going to be important, or maybe it does, but you're like, well, how often do you use this? You know, uh, We're going to see, because when we get into uh, defining some functions, uh, we're going to be using both strings and integers to return certain information. And so this is going to be important at that point. So that's how to convert integers to strings. Uh, it will also work for any other type. So if you have uh, true, 
Uh, we're going to get into that after, actually. But we're going to be using this uh, string function again at a later point. Now, what happens when you want to do the opposite of concatenating strings? So think of concatenation. I'm not sure if that's uh, the appropriate term. Um, think about concatenating two strings as... Uh, actually, let's look that up. Now, let's go open up Xcode. Let's just go into Google here. Because if I'm saying that wrong, I want to know. Yeah, okay, concatenate. Good stuff. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but uh, I'm using that word correctly. Good stuff. All right. So anyway, <laughs> back to the code. Uh, that's how you concatenate two strings together. What happens when you want to do the opposite and you want to split strings apart? So let's say we have this string. Like this. So we're going to say hello. We're going to separate that word from the other word with, uh, uh, with a colon so that we actually have a character that we can use to split. So what we're going to do is after that string, we're going to put a dot. We're going to call a function split on it. And the split function or method takes uh, one parameter. Well, for, for the sake of this video, it takes one parameter. And that's where you want the string to be split. So we're going to split it at the colon there and hit enter. What it's going to do is it's going to create an array with all elements uh, that had been split from that point. So for instance, it split it into two, uh, two items in the array. But let's say I did this. It's going to have an array with three values in it. And then we could reference those values uh, by its index number. So... This is going to be a bit more complicated. Let's say we're splitting it at uh, this. So let's concatenate that. Let's say my name is uh, uh, so we want this to print out my name and not hello world and not anything else. So what we're going to do is put uh, two square brackets and the number one. And it's going to say my name is Nick. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a bit too complicated, uh, so I'm going to try and explain it again uh, from the beginning. So we have a string, we have it say, my name is, and then a space, and then we concatenate it with the result of this right here. So this can be broken down into a few parts. Here's the string that we're performing the split function on. Okay. Uh, then we're calling split on it, and this is going to turn this string into an array with three values, each with an index. It's going to split it into hello, Nick, and world, and stuff those values into its own array. And then we can access the result of this by using an index number here in square brackets. So we're calling the index number one. So hello would be zero, Nick would be one, and world would be two. So what's happening is it's printing out, my name is Nick. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't it be printing out my name is hello if we're using the number one here? Uh, this isn't so much Python, but it's a concept in programming in general. Uh, no, uh, so zero equals one. Uh, if you have an array, the first item in it you think would equal one, but it actually equals zero. And we'll talk more about arrays, uh, which are actually called lists in Python. We'll talk more about those uh, coming up in, uh, you know, I think uh, not the next video, but the video after the next one. Uh, so that's how you can manipulate strings in a very basic way. We might expand on this in the future. Uh, we, we actually probably will. So next, we're going to be talking about booleans.